Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And yes, we are back with another episode of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 Top 5 Plays. If you aren't familiar with this series, you guys submit the plays, and I will pick five of them to be featured, and you also get to vote for the winner. If you haven't seen last week's first episode of the Top 5 Plays, then go check it out on the channel. There will be a link down in the description, as well as a card on screen for you guys to check it out. If you want to submit a clip for the next episode, then be sure to drop the link to your video down in the comments, or email it to the twisted jedi at gmail.com if you do submit a play you could be just like last week's winner which was play number three coming from darth maul 516 with his incredible force push throwing the entire enemy over the edge on bespin this play will now go into the top five plays of the month for you guys to vote on which will be at the end of july as this month i haven't made enough videos to do one for june also special mention to avenger lars for his 15 man assault kill streak being the runner-up for last week's video so go check out those plays after this but for now, let's get to this week's plays. Starting off at number one, we have Jack Tesson with an awesome flank with the officer class on Yavin 4. He manages to creep up the side of an enemy team and take out seven enemies before finally being brought down. Jack shows some really great use of the blurg and placing every shot to perfection to avoid overheating his weapon. Really great job here by Jack and it's good to see some impressive infantry plays being submitted once again. If you want this play to be the winner of this video, then vote number one down in the comments. Next up at play number two is Alberto Morales who is using Bosk on Camino, and he is getting an absolutely crazy proximity multi-kill like I have never seen before. He's already on a 12 kill streak with Bosk when the video starts. He throws down the proximity mine on a full group of enemies and he's obviously using the trap arming speed star card because those things go off before anyone even has a chance to escape. The mines go off and he ends up with a massive multi-kill of what looks to be a or possibly even more enemies with that one drop of the proximity mines. Just check out the kill feed on the right hand side of the screen when he drops these. That is ridiculously impressive work with Bosk. So nice job, Alberto. If this one is your favorite play of the video, then be sure to vote number two down in the comments below. Coming in at number three is Lewis Fife, who is using Kylo Ren on the last phase of Yavin 4. And everyone knows that this last phase can be extremely unforgiving with how many enemies can pile into that one small area when there's one objective left. Speaking of small areas, Lewis charges this hallway with Kylo and normally with six enemies in front of him, Kylo Ren being as weak as he is would absolutely get melted, but Lewis does a great job with the frenzy ability to take out that entire group of enemies and remain alive. Most of the time when you charge into a big group like that, you won't come out alive. So definitely nice work here by Lewis. Be sure to vote number three down below in the comments if you like this play best. Number four comes from Tentox underscore XD. He is making full use of Luke's force ability buff, showing us how it's done on Starkiller base. He charges the stairs, gets up in the air and force pushes a massive group of enemies, killing roughly six to six seven of them with the first force push and then follows it up with a repulse. He then retreats back downstairs until his abilities recharge and then pushes the opposition once again. Using force push and repulse just like he did the time before, he manages to take out another large group of enemies, leading to an awesome multi-kill play before moving into the next sector. Guys, this took 30 seconds and Tentox got two massive group enemy kills, so this was extremely impressive. And if you want this to be the play of the week, then comment number four down below. Finally, coming in at number five is Jaden Williams with the specialist class. And this is great to have in the top plays as we don't see a lot of specialist plays getting submitted or getting the chance to be featured. Jaden has the perfect hiding spot on Hoth and uses it to his full advantage. He makes use of the IQA to pick off those enemies that are further away before breaking out the infiltration, killing the objective enemy and his backup officer by quickly activating the personal shield and taking him down with a nice melee finish. This play shows that Jaden really knows knows what he's doing with the specialist class and he should definitely be rewarded for that. If you want to vote for this play to win then vote number five down in the comments below. So guys there you have it the top five plays for this week. Thank you to everyone who submitted a play and thank you in advance to everyone who helps with the voting on this video. Remember if you want to be featured in the next episode of top plays then submit the link to your video in the comments down below or email it to the twisted jedi at gmail.com. I am looking forward to seeing this week's winner as well as some more plays from all of you guys so definitely keep them coming if you enjoyed this video then drop a like down below and be sure to subscribe for more awesome battlefront 2 content in the future as always thank you so much for tuning in i am the twisted jedi and may the force be with you always the Sith are all powerful you are no match for them
much for 